Hey guys, Heather and AB here, and we are back in Let's Play Batania, picking up a little bit after we left off. I planted some trees, <laughs> planted one, broke it down, got the saplings, put another one, just so on and so forth. So, um, yeah, we've got a little bit of wood. Um, I'm needing food, though. Oh, there was another sapling. And we're going to plant it. <laughs> Alright. And then I got a cactus from a ship. We've planted some sugar cane here. And yeah. Alright. So I kind of want to make a chest for the botania flowers. Just to start off, and then, um, I usually use drawers. They just organize better. And I'll show you how I have that all set up. Alright, so it looks like we have... Four... One, two, three, four, five. Where is he? I hear him. Ugh. <sighs> I heard him. Is he down here? No. <laughs> Where is he? Maybe he is down there. Uh, there's a roaming villager cellar guy. Oh, yeah, there he is. Hi, guy. It's not very safe down here. <laughs> I think he's trying to find his way back up. Ooh. I want to ride you. Ow. Okay, we don't have time for his shenanigans. Let's get back up here. I tried to light down there as best as I could, but there's still a lot of items down there. Alright, so if we travel around... I think we've seen the whole island. So we may need to make some floral fertilizer to get the rest of the flowers we need. Which is no big deal, except for the bone meal part. Alright. I found that one. <coughs> oh, sorry guys. <coughs> oh. My throat got all itchy all of a sudden. Oh, look, turtles! Um... Now let's see, I did find, oh I didn't mark it, there is a spider spawner down in that cave. I lit it up, but uh, yeah, I was hoping for a skeleton one, because that would have been cool. <laughs> Just unlimited bones. And I'm not seeing too many other flowers. Let's grab these yellow ones. So that's what we can make the floral fertilizer out of. And we'll see if, uh, how many bones we've got. I just want to take a quick glance. Alright. Alright, doesn't look like we've got too many more. I didn't want to break those ones because we need a uh, shears for that. So I kind of left the taller ones up. Alright. Floral fertilizer, here we come. Finally, we have a lot of red and yellow flowers, so we can start that. in there. Let's see. Uh, we have ten bones. So we'll take half of them. No. Nope. Alright. So we want to make this into dye. Um, we're actually going to grab one more red here. 
All right, so you put the bone meal. Ooh, white dice, that's cool. And then you split. And you need two and two. And that'll give us two floral fertilizer. Should grab some more yellow flowers. So that gives us eight and eleven. Mm -mm -mm. All right. So floral fertilizer. All right. Now we have six. He's like right under us. <laughs> He's so noisy. All right. Let's. Eh, we'll just do it right here. It's fine. All right. So that. It's going to give us more of the flowers, hopefully. Okay. Alright, so let's see what we've got now. We have three of the white ones. Which we can you we're gonna use to make the um, huh? pure daisies, which will turn the wood and the stone into uh -huh. living wood and living rock. Huh? All right, so but we need to make a, pe a petal apothecary huh? first. I'm getting ahead of myself here. All right, dude, you're getting annoying. Why did you have to go? down there. <laughs> Alright. And I always forget exactly how this is set up. Uh, maybe like that. There we go. Okay. I always, I always do it wrong the first time. Every time. But I always second guess myself. So I always end up making it the same way every time. Alright, so let's actually put this... I mean, we can move it later. Do I have a bucket? I don't think I do. We'll use what little iron we've got here to make a bucket. And I usually do this. <clears throat> I put the water source right by the, um... Apothe apothecary? Apothecary. I was saying it right. Uh, just because you use... You put water in it every time. Every time you use it. I'm just gonna grab a seed. I think I have one in there, but... Alright. Now, to make the pure daisy, you're gonna do four white petals and seeds. That gives us one flower. And let's, um, I want this area to be flat. And I kind of did it. Oops. There we go. All right. I'm going to put it right there. <laughs> and I don't think I have... Do I have another? I do not. Alright, we need to kill a cow. We need to go to sleep first. Uh, I guess we'll... I hate killing horses because they sound awful. But they drop leather. And... There's so many of them around. Like, there's a lot more horses than there are cows. So this is going to totally suck, but... <laughs> Come on. Mm. Alright. Because we need to make a book. Um, a lot of packs give the book to you, but you can make it. It's the uh, Lexica Botanic. 
10. <sighs> Hang on, I'll show you. So, you're going to take a book and a sapling. It can be any sapling, honestly. Lexica Botania. That's it. I kept wanting to put a C in there. Lexica Botanica. But I knew that was not right. <laughs> All right. And for those that don't know, this book is pretty much just Batania. It tells you everything about it. This one's set up kind of different. Nice. I like this. So it shows you which ones you've unlocked and which ones you haven't. All right, so welcome to Petania. I congratulate you on the fine decision to strap a sapling and a book together or just finding uh, this tome in a chest, whichever applies. You can navigate this book with the arrows in the bottom of the page or scroll through the pages with your wheel mouse. Despite its appearance, Batania is in essence a tech mod, which is true. A lot of people say it's magic. I am included in that. But technically, it is a tech mod because you can do different machine type things with it. So, yeah. It requires you to put to use in uh, ingenuity, thought, and redstone to create progress. Keep that in mind. Of course, you'll also be rewarded with cool toys, blocks, and equipment along the way. Patinia is a mod for anybody who likes to play Minecraft because they like building cool things. That is me. I am totally a building person. It is designed to be fully playable, standalone, but can also be played with other mods. This is a standalone because it's Batania. <laughs> with a few exceptions, everything in this mod can be fully automated with only Minecraft and itself. If you happen to find yourself feeling lost, try checking out the mod's advancements or challenges, both of which can be found on the left-hand side of this book's main page. This book is laid out in a user-friendly way with a fair number of helpful features, so before you jump in and start playing, take a bit of time to familiarize yourself with those. The Entry Index category is helpful for searching for a particular entry, as it contains every entry in the book in one place. And that's it for the introduction. I hope you enjoy playing Batania as much as I enjoyed making it. Uh, Vasky? I think is how you pronounce the name and that is actually the mod pack not the mod pack the mod maker the mod pack is Tegan Tegan made this mod pack <laughs> continue by pressing the back button on the bottom right clicking has the same effect all right so um, that is basically what it is about in a nutshell um, yeah I don't know that we're going to be reading all of them. Uh, mystical flowers. Uh, you put it in the thing. You get the petals. You, we're going to make a pestle and mortar. And that's going to give us the powder. And I just showed you how to do the fer floral fertilizer. And uh, yeah. That's pretty much how you begin. Now... We've gotten our... Oh, it's over there. I'm like, where'd it go? We have gotten our... Um, oh, did I not... Oh, I meant to cook some up. Okay, we'll, we'll cook some up now. So, with the Pure Daisy, it's, it's one of the main essential flowers because it's going to turn the wood and stone into the things that you use for pretty much everything um for mana and the mana pools and yeah so and i always start with eight if i had another white daisy i would i usually set up two uh one for wood one for stone but i don't we didn't have enough white petals because i didn't get enough of the white flowers maybe i'll make another couple uh let's make a couple floral fertilizers while we're waiting um i don't want to use the petals because petals are used to make the other the mana producing and the mana using flowers so i try not to use them if i don't to. if our island didn't have enough flowers i would probably is this gonna give me two it is if I had enough bone meal, I would also uh, just bone meal those, but we will save a couple. Oh, need a bigger 
Need a bigger crafting grid. Alright. So we're going to put that there. Put those there. Put those there. And that's going to give us four. Um, we're hoping for a white flower. Hopefully did not get it. Of course not. When you want the flower, they don't give it to you. <laughs> But apparently we did get a color we didn't have yet. Alright. Um, okay, and this has changed. Let's grab our stone. And in between, I will make more living rock and living wood. Alright, let's make a couple drawers because it's going to annoy me having that chest just there. Alright. So let's... I always make... Let's see. I always try to do the one by two, which is the one on top and the one on bottom. Oh, there we go. That's going to give us two of them. And I will show you how I do this. So, we'll take the blue one. And we're going to turn one of them into the petals. So, you put the flower on top, and you don't have to do this, just just how I do it. But you put the flower on top, you put the petal down, and then let's actually make oh, switch those around. There we go. Uh the pestle and mortal. Alright, so we're gonna turn another one into oh turn another one into petals and then we're going to take this and that gives us the powder and then I put the powder down there so then you've got them all lined up and there are 16 flowers in total um, of just the regular the regular flowers so we'll end up having 16 and then the ones on the bottom is where I usually just put like the different tools and stuff so let's I want to keep them all oak colored, so I'm not going to use that dark oak wood from the ship. Alright. Put these a little bit away from our base. I was kind of crowded around uh, here. <laughs> All right, so let's make a couple more here. And there we go. It gives us two more. There we go. And I'll and I'll finish this up. But I just wanted you guys to see. Okay, so. Oh, hang on. Give me that. <laughs> I just wanted you guys to see how I try to organize everything. Just to keep it neat and tidy. And then that way you know if you need a certain flower or a certain petal or powder. You know, you can see exactly what you have. And yeah, so, okay, so in between, I'm going to make some more drawers and get some more of the living wood and living stone. And we'll actually break this so that you guys can see. There we go. There that. Okay, so in between, I'm going to get more living wood, living stone, or rock. 
either either way um i make some more drawers and kind of organize and yeah we will pick this up in the next episode if you guys liked it hit the like button questions and comments go down below in the comment section if you're new to the channel hit the like and subscribe so that you know when i have new content coming out check out my links down below including the patreon where you can help support what i do keep these videos coming and have a good time hanging out with a lot of cool people until the next episode i will see you guys later bye guys